Salutations to everyone, this is Shazam. No, not that Shazam. No, not that Shazam either. Captain Marvel. No, not Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. There we go. Billy Batson. There he is. A uh, super-powered boy. He is actually a, a boy who uh, achieved his powers by granting of a wizard named Shazam. So, let's go over the name first because there's a lot of historicity and uh, confusion about the name. Uh, the name of the hero is Captain Marvel, also known as Shazam, but I'll get into that in a bit. Fictional superhero created in 1939 by uh, artist C.C. Beck and uh, writer Bill Parker. Originally published not by DC Comics, but by Fawcett Comics um, back in, you know, 39 and was actually became the most popular superhero of the 1940s. He was outselling everyone else including Superman however Fawcett ceased publication of Captain Marvel um, Because of a copyright infringement suit from DC Comics alleging that Captain Marvel was a copy of Superman So they his story was done. It wasn't written anymore 19 years later DC licensed uh, the Captain Marvel family of characters and returned them into publication, eventually acquiring rights to all the characters by 1991. And DC has since integrated Captain Marvel as its own standalone hero in the DC universe. So, but uh, since his uh, ceasing of publication from the original Fawcett comics, Marvel Comics created their own Captain Marvel, so to avoid confusion, they titled their comic Shazam, although the character was still called Captain Marvel. And Shazam is the wizard who bestowed upon this young boy, Billy Batson, the powers of many uh, ancient gods. And Shazam is actually an acronym for those gods. S for Solomon, H for Hercules, A for Atlas, Z for Zeus, A for Achilles, and M for Mercury. And this grants him his powers. He's granted the powers of these gods. He gets the wa he gets the wisdom of Solomon. He gets the power of Hercules. He gets the stamina of Atlas. He gets the power of Zeus. He gets the courage and bravery of Achilles and fighting skills and gets Mercury's speed. So that's the origin of his powers. But he is still Captain Marvel until the uh, recent new launching of DC Comics, New 52, where they rename him Shazam. He has been, uh, you know, misnamed as Shazam for so long. There's been so much confusion on his name Shazam or Captain Marvel. And Shazam just has like a better ring to it. And that was the name of his comic book storyline uh, for so long, you know, after DC uh, got the publication rights. So to, to avoid confusion and with the uh, Marvel's Captain Marvel, they just renamed him Shazam to avoid confusion. Um, although Shazam is actually the name of the wizard who bestowed upon him his powers. Uh, although, after the Shazam the wizard was killed by the Spectre in Infinite Crisis, Captain Marvel became Shazam uh, for a brief period until the wizard was, of course, resurrected later on. So, his name is Shazam now. We can also call him Captain Marvel. It really doesn't matter, but... Uh, this hero has, like I said, a lot of odd history um, to him, but nonetheless a very important character because of uh, just really his sheer power, as well as his nemesis, Black Adam, which had a hand in the origin of Billy Batson becoming Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam. I'll just use those interchangeably from now on throughout the storyline, but... Uh, uh, a resurrected warrior, Black Adam, known as Teth Adam, uh, betrayed Billy Batson's archaeologist parents and killed them. And the w brought Billy, young Billy, to the wizard Shazam to bestow him these powers. And Black Adam stole a, a little scarab from the tomb and unlocked his powers to essentially become... Uh, the mirror image of Shazam in Black Adam, although not a good guy. Unlike the Big Red Cheese, 
Black Adam had his uh, own uh, nefarious answers to what he should do with his powers as he was being directed by his boss, Dr. Savannah, the, uh, the original big villain of Shazam. However, nowadays, Black Adam becoming as important as he is, is really the main antagonist against Captain Marvel. So, that is the way that it is now. But why is Shazam such an important character? It basically comes down to his power. He, he's, he is not as popular as he once was. Um, it's kind of a wish fulfillment from kids back in the day to become superheroes because Shazam, unlike you know anyone else in the Justice League, is a child at heart. I know, I know there's the Teen Titans and you know the younger heroes around, but no young hero is as important as Shazam. And though all know, even although originally. Um, Captain Marvel and Billy Batson's um, consciousnesses were separate from each other. Um, back when DC got the property and relaunched it in the 90s, uh, Billy and Shazam is the same thing. He's, he shares the same personality when he utters the word Shazam and becomes, uh, you know, Earth's mightiest mortal and protects the people and blah blah blah. So, he has the Marvel family, which uh, goes along with him. He learned that he can bestow his powers onto others. Uh, so, uh, a couple of friends of his, uh, once one that was crippled by Captain Nazi, and he created a family out of it, and then Black Adam created his own in Infinite Crisis, which, which posed a lot of other problems. But the reason that Captain Marvel is so important is because his power and because of his nemesis, Black Adam. Black Adam needs to be accounted for. He needs to be fought. He needs to be occupied just because of how powerful, how vile, and how violent uh, Black Adam is. He needs someone to keep him in check. And most of the time, when it's possible, that is Captain Marvel. So, he's not really important in that his character is really that interesting. He's not, you know, a super popular character regardless of how, you know, powerful he is and, you know, the historicity of it. He's ranked, you know, I see around the boards about, you know, in the 50s of best comic book character or maybe hero, I forget which. But, uh, all in all, Captain Marvel is an important part of the DC Universe. Um, because he's one of the strongest. He's one of the most powerful, you know, you go to the lawsuit of him being a copy of Superman. He's essentially on Superman's level of power, and uh, so is Black Adam. So Captain Marvel needs to keep him in check. It needs to be the antithesis of Black Adam's evil empire of Kondak, and needs to uh, fight all the other evils that are plaguing the DC Universe. So that is... Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam, in a nutshell. Stay tuned for next week where I go over his very important nemesis, Black Adam.